Hey guys, Nurse Alyssa here. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Alyssa and I am a wound care nurse in Ontario, Canada. Um, if you have not liked and subscribed to my channel, please do so now uh, so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So today we're going to go over MetaHoney and everything you need to know about MetaHoney. Um, and there will actually be a demonstration at the end of the video showing you how to use the different types of MetaHoney. So MetaHoney is a medical grade antibacterial, antimicrobial honey uh, collected from Manuka. This honey is processed using advanced scientific knowledge to maximize healing potential. So how does Meta Honey actually work? Um, so it creates a moist environment to increase healing potential. Um, it creates a barrier over top of the wound to protect against bacteria. So bacteria can't get into that wound, um, decreasing infection rate. So it is a autolytic debrider. Um, so it removes the slough and debris from the wound. It removes malodor, so if a wound has a stench to it, it will remove that, and it reduces the risk of infection when it uh, makes that barrier over the wound. Indications for use. Um, so we would use this on leg and foot ulcers, diabetic ulcers, pressure ulcers, infected wounds, sloughy wounds, because it'll um, that autolytic debridement, it'll get the slough out of there. Uh, malodorous wounds, so it does help get rid of odor. Necrotic wounds, that's where you have the black, um, and it'll get that out of there. Burns, donor sites, um, graft sites, surgical wounds, superficial wounds, such as cuts, scratches, abrasions. Metahoney is good for all of these. A few precautions with meta honey. So um, because of some of the properties in honey, the patient might experience some stinging sensation. Um, it does subside over time, but if it's an uh, unacceptable level of pain, um, it, the dressing needs to be removed. Um, and then you just wash the area um, and it should subside. Um, when you're using on a dry wound, it's, it's helpful if you actually moisten with saline before removing um, the meta honey. And you have to be cautious using this with heavily bleeding wounds. So how do we actually use meta honey? Um, so what you're always going to do first with any wound, you're always going to clean it with a full bottle of saline. Depending on the size of the wound, you might need a few bottles of saline, but I always like to say use an entire bottle of saline um, because I have noticed that some nurses, they'll just use like part of a bottle because they see that the, the wound's kind of clean. Um, just use the whole bottle because you're just going to end up throwing out the saline anyways. So just use a whole bottle. It's a great cleaning agent. Um, next, we're going to uh, put a barrier cream or, or a skin prep around the outside of, of the wound base um, because meta honey, it does kind of melt. It it does go out. So it's good. It, it does macerate the outside tissue. So we want to protect that tissue so the wound doesn't actually get bigger. Um, so when we're placing the meta honey on, if it's the alginate, you're going to either cut it to size or you're going to um, kind of bend it in to fit inside of the wound base and you want it all over that wound base, but you do not want it on the outside edges of your wound. Um, and then you're going to put a suitable uh, outer layer over top. So depending on the exudate, meta honey does melt, so you're going to have a little... Um, bit more moisture from the meta honey um, so do account for that but whatever um, you just need to use an appropriate outer dressing over top of the meta honey um, you could use sterile gauze mesorb or um, extra sorb um, and then this is suitable underneath compression next we're going to actually see the demonstration of how to use the different types of meta honey Applying a protective skin barrier to the peri wound 
We are ready to apply MetaHoney Calcium Alginate to this venous leg ulcer. Before opening the dressing, fold the dressing back and forth in both directions to make it soft and pliable. To open, firmly pull apart the two end flaps and remove the MetaHoney Calcium Alginate. Before cutting, assess the correct size needed for the wound, as you want the product to be completely inside the wound edges and not overlapping onto healthy peri-wound skin. Then cut the dressing to the approximate size needed. Gently place it onto the wound bed. Once applied, because the dressing is pliable, simply roll edges of the perimeter of the dressing to fit correctly inside the wound edges. Because the MetaHoney Calcium Alginate will ultimately form a gel and also helps to move additional fluid to the wound bed, you must use an absorptive secondary cover dressing. Here, we are applying the Super Absorbent Extra Zorb Classic Dressing to protect the wound and handle exudate. We affix the Extra Sorb Classic with tape, making sure it's firmly in place. After properly cleaning and preparing the wound, we are applying Adhesive Meta Honey Honey Colloid onto this leg wound. The adhesive version should not be cut. This skin-friendly hydrocolloid formulation may overlap the wound edges and contact healthy skin. Remove both sides of the film backing Place the dressing onto the wound. Make sure the adhesive edges are firmly in place. Finally, remove the top film from the dressing by peeling the flaps as indicated on the dressing. After properly cleaning and preparing the wound site, we are applying non-adhesive MetaHoney Honey Colloid to this traumatic wound. This non-adhesive version may be cut to fit into the wound bed. First, open the honey colloid dressing and remove the plastic film covering from the dressing. Then, cut the dressing into strips that will fit into the wound bed. Honey colloid is in intimate contact with the wound bed, you are ready to apply the secondary dressing. Use Meta Honey paste with a secondary cover dressing, except in cases like certain burns or mouth wounds where your clinical judgment comes into play. As we demonstrate on this model of a sacral pressure ulcer, after properly cleaning and preparing the wound, MetaHoney paste can be applied directly to the wound bed. This model is an example of a more serious wound, where tunneling and undermining has occurred. In cases like this, it is important to make sure the MetaHoney dressing has direct contact with the varying wound surfaces. Here, we use BioGuard packing strips to move MetaHoney into the tunnel, ensuring contact with the undermined area. In cases like this, it is important to make sure the MetaHoney dressing has direct contact with the varying wound surfaces. Here, we add MetaHoney Calcium Alginate to cover and fill the wound bed, being careful to keep the product inside the wound edges. If the depth of the wound requires it, Gauze may be used to further fill the wound bed. To finish, we use Extra Sorb non-adhesive foam as the cover dressing. I hope you found this video helpful to your practice. Um, if you did, please hit that subscribe and like button. It would be really appreciated, and I will see you next time.